Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a stacked uh, bar chart uh, using Python, specifically I'm using Jupyter Notebook and Python 3 as you can see and this is the type of diagram that I'll be making uh, it has a few different names, compound bar chart or stack bar chart and uh, this is the version where I'll have multiple ones there's a separate video if you just want a one of them because that's slightly trickier actually so um, the stack bar chart can be used to for example visualize where I often use it ordinal data uh, together with a single nominal variable which then has the categories um, so this is the one that I'm going to try to make uh, with Python so to do that I'll be using an example and I'll be loading that as a pandas data frame so I'll need to install pandas if you haven't done so then run this line um, and then import it using pandas and I'm gonna abbreviate it as pd so I can simply use pd dot something uh, in the future then uh, so it mentions here that I've already installed it um, then I'm going to load my example file with a read CSV that simply uh, reads a comma separated uh, file and just to get an impression I'll use head which will show me the top five lines shift enter and as you can see here some of the data uh, it actually shows me the five it counts to four but includes zero so that's the top five rows now for the example I need an ordinal field so I'm going to use the field called mix and then short number activities and I'm going to split that uh, against the gender unfortunately um, the number of activities is uh, in this data set is actually text I can show that by using values counts which will simply give me for each option it finds each unique option the number so 27 students in this case actually um, uh, selected enough so let's replace that with integers uh, so you could call that a coding and I'm gonna use a dictionary for that so what I do is I open the curly brackets and then far too little that's one of the categories that's gonna be uh, to the number one too little is gonna be two enough three etc so that's going to be my coding and then I can use pandas replace function to simply replace all of them um, so when I do that uh, with the replace uh, so replace my coding now as you can see all of them are simply one to five the order in this case is not yet so important it's important that you put the right order here in the coding so that one is indeed the lowest value or the, the least value or the other way around and eh? you can do five to one from low to high or high to low so let's have a quick look for the uh, gender then the nominal variable well there I have male and female and uh, and that's fine and I actually need now to separate the data into these two categories now there are probably a few different ways of doing that uh, one way is to simply first um, create a list uh, of booleans so true or false and one for the male version and one for the female version and then I'll show you the male and as you can see that will give me a list of trues or false so the first one is uh, this is cat1 so that's male so that's false so it's either female or it was an empty value these we can then uh, use to select the scores of each category and store those separately so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ordinal variable I'm going to use my category one, so that's the false, true, true, false, true, etc. And I'm going to drop any missing values because I don't want to have any missing values in there. The same goes for my cat scores two, the same thing there. And then I should be left with my number of males and females. So, for example, for the cat scores one, that's 34. And as you can see, I indeed had 34 males so then the frequencies for each category I can use that values count again and I do that separately for each of my categories and then store uh, all of this into a separate data frame so that's going to be a pandas data frame the first uh, field is going to be called male that has the frequencies of the males and female of the second category which were the females 
And then uh, let's show the first uh, few. And as you can see, what it's done is for the males, it nicely has now the frequencies and for the females as well and it keeps uh, apparently none of the females selected option 4 or 5. So now we can finally start building the stacked bar chart and we can use pandas plot function for this and then with kind we can either go for bar or bar h in this case I prefer actually bar h and that the bars are horizontal that's probably what the h stands for and I want to be stacked so I'm going to be plotting them stacked and there we go, now we have a very basic stack bar chart. I actually prefer that all these bars uh, go up to 100%. So we can uh, simply actually um, uh, and have the gender and the horizontal axis uh, so that I don't have male, uh, female here, but that I actually have here the 1 to 5. So what we can do is first to have the instead of the 1 to 5 here we have male female and then in as a legend that it's stacking up the counts we can simply transpose the data to some extent that turns it 90 degrees uh, so like this and then if we use the exact same thing we now nicely should get the stacked one with uh, male and female like I said I prefer actually to have percentages so that they go up to 100 percent so we can use the sum function um, and then set axis to 1 so that it will be summing up uh, these rather than those. Um, and then we need to divide it by that total so we actually get the percentages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my data by the sum of that uh, rows in this case. Uh, and then multiply with 100. So let's have a look there. So now if everything worked out all of these will be added up to 100 and all of these are added up to 100 and if we then make that bar graph from that we nicely get everything going up to a hundred percent and the one two three four five if you like you can also use pyplot which has a few additional benefits uh, that's actually in the matplotlib so if you library so if you never installed it before you can use the pip install uh, mine will say that I've already installed it and then import it using uh, and I'm going to abbreviate it to PLT. Alright, so a few things I would like to change. The legend should not have the numbers but the original labels. We can use legend for that. Uh, the legend I like outside of the bars which I can accomplish by doing something bbox to anchor. The label for the axis with the categories can uh, be the nominal variable names. So uh, this can be done using the Y label. Uh, for the, uh, the other one, the vertical axis, or actually now the horizontal, those are cumulative percentages. So that's going to be the X label and the name of the ordinal variable as the main title. So if I use all of that in here, then I should get a slightly nicer looking one, or at least nicer looking in my opinion, uh, now I have nicely the labels in here, uh, I have a nice horizontal uh, and vertical labeling of my axis and on top of the chart is what I, um, the name of the variable. So I can quickly see now that for example at about 50% uh, the, uh, it was enough, so 50% of the people, students in this case, uh, thought it was enough. Um, and I can also see that here that uh, far too little and too little so that the females, well, some of them thought there wasn't enough. Um, and with the males it was more or less almost the opposite that there were quite a lot who thought it was too much. Go figure. Alright, uh, so one more thing that I could do is I can use uh, a small function or create my own small uh, function in Python that does everything for me. Uh, most of this is actually already discussed above. Uh, so I made this little function for myself. It takes data, the nominal field, the ordinal field and then the coding as input. Um, I'll leave this uh, Jupyter Notebook in the description as a download um, below the video and then you can download it yourself if you're interested just to show you how this will work and that it will actually work so 
let's load the function and then let's do an example and there we have immediately the nice the same one as we did before and just to have a different example with three categories because I know location actually had three and you can see that now it nicely done uh, with three categories right and that was it I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching